Is there a dua for barakah in time? What a great question. The best way to get barakah in time, I would say there's three ways. And by the way, there are things called time warps where you can time can actually be expanded. And, and this is undeniable for anybody that um, has been to Medina and experienced a day in Medina, which is not like a day anywhere else in the world. And, and I would argue in Mauritania, my own experience of time, time really slowed down when I was in the desert in Mauritania. Um, a, a year there is like um, three or four years somewhere else. So baraka in time is very real, what you accomplish in your time. Uh, I think in some ways California probably has the least baraka of time because <laughs> everything's here in nanoseconds and it's just very fast. Uh, my father told me once that you get to a certain point in life and every 15 minutes it's breakfast. So time does speed up. And um, uh, we want to get the best in, uh, of our time. So the 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 way there's a one of the great scholars Ibrahim ibn Abd al-Wahhab al-Maqdisi uh, he told one of his um, st uh, students Liya al-Maqdisi he asked him how 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 can I benefit from my time and he said أكثر من قراءة القرآن he said read more Quran he said the more Quran you read the more barakah will be in your time and so it's when we read about the Salaf, we they all read a great deal of Quran, and and so the the also the the word in the morning, even if you do a short one, is very important to have a consistent practice. Those will give you more barakah. Also, the du'as of Allahumma barak lana fi ma razaqtana, right? So so that 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 asking for barakah because time is risk. So put barakah in the risk of our time. Um, there are many du'as about, uh, you know, about uh, barakah. And so just asking for that time expansion. and But qira'at al-Qur'an and then praying on time, not missing your prayers. Because the Sayyidina Omar and, and the Muwatta begins with uh, the hadith of um, the awqat al-salat. And it's very interesting that Imam Malik began his book with the hadith about the prayer times. And Sayyidina Omar sent a letter out. This is in the Muatta. He sent a letter out to all the governors. And he said, guard your prayer time because whoever guards his prayer time, he will be guarding everything else even, uh, you know, that if you, if you protect your prayer times, Allah will protect all your other times. So it's very important to have your, your, your prayer times on time. I, and then the, the third thing, so a lot of Qur'an, making sure that you're praying on time. And then the third thing is uh, getting up early. The Prophet ﷺ said, My ummah was blessed in the early part of the day. And anybody who knows this, if you stay up after Fajr, you will look at the clock and it'll be like 10 o'clock and you'll feel like you've had a whole day whereas if you sleep after that time which is in our tradition is called وقت, uh, uh, noma nadama the remorseful sleep if you sleep after that time what you'll find is you get up at eight or nine and then before you know it it's three or four o'clock and then the day's over and this is something everybody has experienced so those are the ways to get barakah in time. Allahu alam. How about when you have the time but your brain is overwhelmed and can't take anything in? That's a problem because we all feel that. Just recreation is very important. Taking walks uh, is important. When you feel that way, just go and take some time. Also, just being in nature, what the Japanese call forest bathing, just going out into nature. Nature will rejuvenate just by by the experience of being in a natural environment. It will rejuvenate your spirits. Um, also, just maintaining good health, like exercising and eating well, is very important. Um, so brain fog is real. And one of the ways to, to, uh, 
to do that. St real study is very tiring. It's, it really can exhaust you. It's invigorating and it's tiring like exercise. So you need breaks um, from that time. Ibn Abbas's advice was to give your heart some repo repose from time to time. And that's why he used to, when they studied tafsir, he would say, bring the poetry. Let's hear some poetry. So they kind of, they would relax from that intensity of study to something that's more enjoyable. And that's why literature is very important to read things that are that are edifying, but they're also enjoyable. Mm. And then the du'a also, Allahumma inna'udhu min al-ajzi wa al-kasal, is a really important du'a because the ajz is the one who wants to do something but they don't have the energy to do it the the kaslan is the one who has the energy but doesn't want to do it so the prophet sought refuge from both states from laziness but also from incapacity <laughs>